walking in a winter wonderland. All right, Angelo does have a good reason for playing that song. Candace Derricks from Life in Pleasantville is here, and she has brought guests. Amber Balkan, who is the first Canadian woman to win a NASCAR-sanctioned race. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Amber. And Jeff Weeb, a tire expert from Cal Tire. Welcome to What She Said. Thank you. And Candace, I'm guessing we're talking winter tires here. It was just just a guess. <laughs> right, just a wild guess. You know, this is um, actually a little known fact about me. I actually love winter and I love traveling in the winter. And I've been working with Cal Tire for a few years now. And it's so important that Canadians get their winter tires on. So I have guests here today to talk about the why and the how and the when. Uh, winter tires. There's lots of myths around winter tires. There's lots of myths around tires in general. What we're sort of talking about today is the seven degree switch. Seven degrees is kind of a benchmark in the tire industry. The ambient temperature really affects how grippy the tires are by how pliable they are. Mm -hmm. Below seven degrees, we know all season tires or kind of what we've renamed them three season tires. They lose their pliability. They don't grip the road the same. Uh, at temperatures under 7 degrees Celsius. So that's kind of the point where you want to be aware. It's time to put the winter tires on. Mm -hmm. uh, the month of October is generally where we hit that average. So southern Ontario, it's usually mid to third week of October. Uh, that's when you want to get those winter tires on so that you're prepared for we what we know is going to come, for sure. Well, so like we were talking about earlier, too, but one of the things you said was, you know, you don't wait until you're just about in an accident to put your seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. you don't wait to put your tires on, get them on. Now, now is the time. And not only that, but the minute that they say a big storm's coming, you can't get your tires on. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> so, Amber, let's say you're you're the professional driver among us. What do you, how do you feel about the different tires? Yeah, absolutely. Well, this campaign really resonated with me. Being a race car driver, I'm used to uh, having different types of tires for different Slicks. track conditions. Yes, and you know what? It really is the same way with a passenger vehicle as well. You need uh, summer tires in the summer and winter tires in the winter because like Jeff said the uh, compound of the tires it it hardens at seven degrees so it's important safety more than anything to make that switch so that your car can stop properly and your car can handle properly through the corners um, it doesn't matter how good of a driver you are I like to think I'm a pretty good driver I do it for a living and even I know that my skill set can only get me so far when it comes to mm -hmm. um, driving in the winter conditions driving on ice and snow and in the cold weather conditions so um that that traction of winter tires is going to be w what helps your vehicle perform and keep you safe now i have a question i've always heard that if you drive your snow tires and it gets warm it ruins them now i'm not talking about you know mm -hmm. for four months yep. so i think a lot of people said oh no i don't want to do it yet because we got a couple days next week they're going to be 20 and it'll wreck my tires is that really true or well i would i would challenge the word ruin okay all tires are designed to wear out, okay? Uh, Aww. I know. Isn't that something? <laughs> no tire out there is going to last forever. They always wear, and that's actually how they work because they're soft, and they do you know, shed rubber as they wear. You're absolutely right. A winter tire, because of the softer rubber compound, will wear at a higher rate in higher temperatures. Now, we're not condoning, yeah, just don't worry about them then and run them year-round. What we're saying is, you know, you put them on prior to that seven degrees, it's going to be a couple, three weeks. Yeah, they're going to wear a little bit faster. But just like what we were saying before, um, you know, if you put your seatbelt on at the beginning of your three-hour drive, it's going to wrinkle your shirt up a little bit more if you put it on when you start the drive mm -hmm. than if you put it on just as you get to the highway. Mm -hmm. It's a safety factor, okay? Mm -hmm. The winter tires, you own them for safety. They need to be in place when the vehicle is at risk on those slippery surfaces, for sure. Okay, so um, answer me this. Would you replace them? Do you have them on rims or do you just replace the tires? Great question. You can do either. Uh, it's less work, of course, if they're already fitted on rims and it's a little bit less money to get them switched back and forth if you do make that purchase up front of the second set of rims. So some people, um, certain vehicles, maybe the rims are a little bit harder to get or more expensive. Um, for, for those people, maybe they're going to change back and forth. Maybe they keep the vehicle for a short amount of time and they're not sure if the tires are going to fit on their next vehicle. So it's kind of a point by point, uh, 
you know, specific situation that we'll look at with a customer and we'll say, okay, is is a second set of rims going to pay for you or should we just stick with the two sets of tires on the mm-hmm. single set of rims? There's a lot of different factors going into it and it sort of depends on the vehicle, the driver and so on. Okay. Um, any any last thoughts, Amber, about the importance of winter tires? Yeah, I mean, I think it really comes down to safety. I wouldn't hop in my race car without putting on my helmet, and uh, people should treat winter tires the same. Once it hits the seven degrees, make sure you're switching from your all-season to your winter tires um, so that you have that traction underneath you to be able to keep you safe and the drivers around you safe as well. Yeah, and there are people who say, oh, it doesn't make any difference, mm-hmm. but I've seen them try oh, to get up the does. hill on there the, you go. <laughs> on the Don Valley Parkway, and right. they're slipping down the hill, and everybody else is passing them. Well, right? but there's no such thing as an all-season tire, right? There is no such thing in Canada that doesn't exist. I mean, an all-season tire might exist in, you know, Georgia. Yeah. Right, the it, all-season tire is here. almost more of a three-season tire. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Where can people find out about Cal Tire? Caltire, the best source and the easiest source, of course, is going to be on our website, www.caltire.com. If you couldn't have figured that out on your own, but I guess in this day and age, you probably got it already. Um, But yeah, we've got 230 plus locations uh, across Canada, all fully stocked with winter tires, uh, all kinds of tires. But this is the time of year we're ready for winter and we're ready for you to come on down. Well, Candace, Amber, and Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. This is what she said. We'll be right back.